Hi guys, my name is Estella Aragon and this is Trump Headquarters. I wanted to make a quick video with some tips so you can memorize your skills faster and feel more confident about them at your next audition. So let's get right to it. Tip number one is know your key. You have got to know your key. For example, D flat major has five flats, B major has five sharps, D major two sharps, etc. This should be something that you can just draw quickly right out of your brain. That way, you won't rely on your finger memory in a stressful situation. That brings me to tip number two. Don't rely on your finger memory, because if you do, the second that you are stressed or you feel under pressure, that finger memory is going to go right out the window. So don't rely on your fingers. Know your scale, note by note, note the key, and then you will have a much easier time performing under pressure. That brings me to tip number three. So this tip is sort of like a practice tip. You should be able to say the scale out loud because if you can say it, you can play it. So for example, I'm going to say uh, B major, which has five sharps. B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B. If you can already do that, I think you're going to be well on your way to using that tip for all your other scales. So let's try it. I want you to go ahead and pause this video and try that for yourself now with a scale that's usually a little bit more difficult for you to play. All right, if you did well, like I said, I think you're gonna be just fine. If you're having a little bit of a hard time, it just means that you need to practice that a little bit more. Now, just remember this. Only play the scale as fast as you can say it. So for example, if you're doing this, B, C sharp, D sharp, you should only be playing it like that. So da, da, da. And so if you try to play the scale way faster, you're just gonna be guessing because you can't actually say the scale that fast, which means that you really don't know the scale as well as you might think you do. So the last tip that I have for you today is tip number four, and that is play the scale 15 to 30 times a day so that you can really get it under your fingers. If you follow all of these tips, I am sure that you can learn a, a new scale fairly quickly, like in one day. Thank you for watching. I really hope this has been helpful. As usual, I will try my very best to answer your questions in the comments. Uh, forgive my verbal typos today. This was kind of an impromptu video. Please do subscribe to my channel so you can receive more tutorials and videos just like this one. And if you are active on social media, I am on Instagram and Twitter. I will see you next time. Thanks.